Shalom, a very blessed evening to you, lovely people. Welcome. You are watching Pastor Kevin live right on Jesus Saves and Zoe TV, Zoe Plus, wherever you are watching us from tonight. It's a special night. One more time, the man of God, Pastor Kevin, is bringing to us divine truth in God's word. My name is Walter Pastor Stephen. It's also right here with us in the studios. Shalom says. Mm. Shalom. Mm. I, I believe on Tuesday we, we open a free on faith. Yeah. And uh, yesterday we had the opportunity to do a real service. Yeah. And uh, um, yesterday we, we, we did not allow calls yes, because yes, it was sir. a practical way service. Yes, we did sir. not allow calls. I know many of you had calls. Uh, to put through, yes, you can put them through today when the phone lines go active, but not for now. And on Tuesday, we picked a very important subject in the modern day Christianity called faith. Yeah. Now, we, we, have, we have a whole lot of uh, ministries uh, who, 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 which backbone is faith. And I believe it's one of the most precious things a believer needs uh, to be able to pursue the course of life diligently in the spirit of the Lord. But uh, like I've said to you, and I want to repeat, God has never sent anybody to preach faith. No, faith cannot be preached. So we, there are people we call faith preachers. You can't preach faith. We preach the word. And out of the word come a faith. <laughs> it excites me the way I'm, I'm trying to simplify it for you. You know, I, I believe that we are in an era where we must solely rely on God's word and what the word says. What the word says, <clears throat> not what we the preachers say. Whatever we say must be backed by the word. So I just made an emphatic statement. I said, no one can preach faith. We, we preach the word, and the word brings faith. And it is written in Romans 10, verse number 17. Romans 10, 17. Romans 10, verse number 17. The word says, So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. Faith comes from hearing. I want us to go back to faith. 15 and see what brought that part of God to our understanding. It says, and how are they to preach unless they are sent? How are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach their good news? Who preach their good news? Does it say faith? No, the good news. We are not sent to preach faith. And maybe I'm, I, I might be able to stay on just that. Pastor, hold on. It says, who preach the good news? Verse number 16. Verse 16. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. Mm -hmm. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us? Who has believed what he has heard from us? If not all believe the gospel. And we are sent to preach the gospel. Now I'm going to do another backtracking. Verse 12. I want us to understand the sequence of happenings. It says, For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. On all who calls on him. Now, Amazingly, when, when the word of God speaks about the riches of God, he, the word of God is not talking about what we think it is. I'll talk about that. The riches of God is, is, is the glory, is the power, is the blessing. Mm. And that is what makes us rich spiritually to be enriched physically. We're going to take that one of these days and speak uh, lengthy about that next verse verse number 13 verse 13 mm -hmm. there's no jew no greek yeah remember that for everyone who calls on the name of the lord will be saved next verse 
verse 14. How then would they call on him in whom they have not believed? Uh -huh. And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? heard. And, and how, how are they to hear without someone preaching? preaching? Amazing. How are they to hear without someone preaching? Being what? preaching? What are we supposed to preach? Hmm. Next verse. And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, mm -hmm. how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. Who preach the, the good, good news. news. Which is the gospel. Yeah. Not those who preach faith. Mm -hmm. Then he goes ahead in verse 17 and tells us, faith, but 17. So, so faith, faith comes from hearing, hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Through the word of Christ. So... This same chapter explains both faith and belief. He says, when the word is preached, they receive faith. And by the faith they receive, they believe. Now I'm going to focus extensively on what to preach. After that, if there is enough time, we'll look at faith and belief. If there is not, we'll look at that on Saturday because tomorrow is a healing school. I love healing schools. You know why I love healing schools? Can I tell you why? I believe in miracles. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That's the form of miracles I believe. I believe in miracles that are produced by the name of Jesus. I believe in miracles. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I don't know about you, but I really, really believe in miracles. And I love to demonstrate God's power. It's a love. I love to demonstrate God's power. It's a treasure for me. My heart is filled with that. I love to demonstrate God's power. I love to dem I really love to demonstrate God's power. And the amazement is that's what he has programmed the born again for, that we manifest his glory and his excellence. Praise God. So, what are we supposed to preach? I, I love the way verse, verse number 15 puts it. It says, and how are they? beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good, the good news. news. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pastor, can I hear the road? Yes, Pastor. Can I hear the road? Yes, Pastor. As did today, today. Should I sound controversial? Yes. Can, I, can I hear the road? I'm yes. not going to sound controversial. So, so you see, those who feed and made beautiful <laughs> are not those preaching marriages, yeah. preaching finances, yes. preaching prosperity, mm. preaching faith, mm. but those preaching the good news. Good news. Did you hear that? That's what the word says. Now, what are we supposed to preach? What are we supposed to preach? What are we supposed to preach? We can do as Jesus did, not as any man did. Can I come again? We can do as Jesus did, not as any man did. What did Jesus do? What did he, what did he actually do? I'm going to show you two scriptures that you so much know that tells about what Jesus did which is not debatable, contestable, or no one can contend that. That's what he did. In Luke chapter number 4, verse number 18, we begin to know what the master has programmed to do. He says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news. Stop to there. To proclaim good news. Stop. To proclaim good news. To proclaim good news. Faith? No. Marriage? No. Prosperity? No. To proclaim what? Good news. Are we sure we, we see it right? Yes, Pastor. Can, can, you get, can you get as many as five people at home? Don't, don't, don't display the phone line. They know it's off it. Mm. To call and read a version of this scripture they have for me. I just want them to read to the poor and just put a full stop. Wow. Hmm. What did Jesus say? Jesus, no, no, no. Let's go to verse number 16 so everybody knows who is talking. Okay, these, these are the words of the master. He said, and he, Jesus, came to Nazareth where he had been brought up 
And as it was his custom, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. Verse number 17. Jesus stood up to read. And a scroll of the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written. Verse number 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to, the, to proclaim liberty to the captive and the recovery of sight to the blind to say at liberty those who are oppressed. Verse number 19. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, 20. And he wrote out the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. What did he say? Mm. Verse number 21. What did he say next? And he began to say to them, Today, this scripture has been fulfilled <coughs> in your hearing. Hallelujah. Jesus literally telling them, This is what I came to do. I came to do what is written in as the book of Isaiah that I proclaim to you today as I'm writing it again in Luke 4, verse number 18. And this was written in Isaiah 61. Mm. All right? Am I right? Yes, Isaiah 61. Let's see. Verse 1. Isaiah 61. Verse number 1. Isaiah chapter 61. It says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news the to the poor. So it was a, pro a prophecy fulfilled. Luke 4, verse number 18. Luke chapter 4, verse number 18. Luke chapter 4, verse number 18. This, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. Now, Mark chapter number 16, verse number 15. This is Jesus' instruction to those he sent out. This is what he instructed us to do. Mark chapter number 16, verse number 15. The way it says, come on, go, and all said, of you. And he said to them, uh -huh. go into all the world and proclaim the And proclaim gospel. what? The gospel, the, gospel. the good news. To Did Jesus world. send us to go and preach faith? I don't know. Marriage? I don't know. God's, uh, 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 prosperity? I don't know. Whatever they call it, I don't know. But there's one that I know, that gospel. The gospel. The gospel. The son sent us to go preach. Jesus said, go preach the gospel. And when you preach the gospel, people receive faith from the gospel. When they receive faith, their faith will make them believe. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Preaching faith is like having fuel without an engine, so you are driving a car. Can I tell you what? There are no faith preachers in the scriptures that we read. In the word of God, I have not found a faith preacher. Uh -huh. I have found preachers of the law and preachers of the gospel. In the old covenant, they preach the law. In the new covenant, they preach the gospel. <clears throat> what is the gospel? Gospel is fulfilling the law. Genesis to Revelation, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, to Revelation chapter number 22, verse number 21. It all comes together as the law of God. That's the law of God. That's the word of God. The law of God is the word of God. What does it mean? It's like having a constitution. God lives in a kingdom, and that we belong to the kingdom of God. And the constitution of God is the word. So God has never, ever, at any time, on any day, sent anybody to go and preach marriage. Uh -uh. Go and preach finances. Go and preach prosperity. Go and preach success. That's not God. Jesus wore the crown of victory, but he never sent any man to go and preach victory. He sent it out. So go proclaim the gospel. Go preach the gospel. Brother, listen to this. Jesus sent it out to go preach the gospel. I want to take any question on this matter. And there are scriptures upon scriptures upon scriptures. Look, look, look. 
What amazes me is that the gospel is in power. Yeah. Are you hearing this? Yes, Pastor. The gospel is in power. Faith is in belief. Maybe you might not understand. Unless I take pistis and pistillos, mm. faith and belief, then you get to understand. The gospel of God is in power. It's in real power. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter number 1, verse number 17. Let's take the 17 and the 18 verse. I, 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 I actually came today mm. to, preach, uh, to preach on faith and belief and distinguish between them. Yeah. But I believe this, this, if this subject matter is not well understood, mm. the next will not have. Okay. Scripture, it says, For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel. And, and not with words of eloquent wisdom, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. Now, hold on. Paul says, what did Christ sent him to preach? To preach the gospel. So how come people are sent to preach faith? Who sent them? It must be answered. Mm. Who sent who to go and preach faith? He sent, he sent the 11 apostles who, who were then disciples. He sent them in the absence of Judas. He sent them. Pastor, what he did was he sent them and mm. said, go preach the gospel. Yes, Pastor. Peter, John, the rest of you, James, including his brother, he says, go preach the gospel. Mm. Where? Unto the ends of the world. Mm. Until every man gets to hear the gospel. Wow. That's the master's instruction. Yeah. The last apostle Jesus called mm. was Paul. From, from, from the book of Acts to Revelation, the, Acts, the last apostle you can talk about is Paul. And yet though Paul was the last and the least, but a major servant, he sent him to say, go preach the gospel. Yeah. Go preach the gospel. So I can tell you on authority of God's word, that if any man comes to you and say, God sent me to preach faith, it wasn't the God of scriptures. Mm. Not the God of God's word. It's the God of another place. Mm. All right? It cannot be backed by scriptures. Not in any way. Not in any way. But we refuse him to study God's way. Yeah. So anything a man tells us, we just take it, imbibe it, we believe it, and we begin to move with it. God has never sent anybody to preach marriage. Neither has he ever sent anybody to preach prosperity. Listen to me. Prosperity is an icon. It's an icon, and iconically, the second icon of the power of eternity. The first icon of eternity is power. The second is wealth, followed by might, followed by strength, followed by glory, honor, and blessing. So wealth is part of what we receive when we become born again. If we live by the rule, if we live by the engagement, if we live by the law, the constitution of God, automatically it comes to you. You attract wealth. Are you hearing me? Yes. So God does not say he has never... Listen, the essence of the cross is someone must be saved, someone must be anointed. Yeah. Nothing more. The things, the things, the things that we literally go to church seeking, the things that we employ our faith to gain are the things already given to us. Mm. It's all that pertains to life and godliness God has given <coughs> us. When you walk in the light of God's word, these things are ensured. Mm. They are ensured. They cannot... You, you cannot go without them because they, they, they don't follow you. They are in you. Are you hearing me? They are in you. When a man is clothed with Christ, he's clothed with the ability of heaven. When that man says, let there be light, surely there is light. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse number 17 again. Paul says, the Lord sent me to preach gospel. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Mm. And not with words of eloquent wisdom, least the cross of Christ be made 
empty of its power. Look at what follows in verse number 18. For the word of the cross is fully to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is, it is, it will not be, it is the power of God. It is, it will not be. It is the power of God to us who are being saved, to you working in salvation. The word of God is, is, is the power of God. The gospel is the power. The gospel is the power. The gospel, the gospel, the gospel of God is power. Do you want to taste the power of God? Many are calling. May I, I meet people in, in meetings. Uh, people call online. People send messages. And, and they say, Pastor, I want to be anointed as Pastor Kelvin. I'm not yet anointed. <laughs> we are just beginning the journey. Yeah. God is preparing us to anoint us one day. So the preparation stage. Because when you look at how much you use Jesus, you realize that the, the gap is wide that we need to close up. You know what? God wants to anoint you more than what you see him doing with me. God wants to anoint you God wants to give you enough power for you to function in power. That's why he gave you his word. Yeah. The entire power of God is his, is his word. And he has given that word to you. He says, function in it. How do you function in it? When the truth of the word is brought to you, you get to function in the truth. When the truth of the word is brought to you. You get to function in the truth. When, 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 when you are still getting to places as church and you are told that I am sent to preach faith, when God's word proves that he's never sent anybody to, prove, to preach faith, what is being done to you? You are being misled. God has sent me to preach marriage when it is not written. You are being misled. Every man sent of God is to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Shalom, Pastor. <coughs> Hallelujah. Powerful. Very clear in God's word to us. Every man sent to preach. Every, to preach. No. Every man sent of God, it's, sent by God, mm. is, is sent to, to preach, preach the gospel. gospel. Nothing more. Nothing more. And, and empirically, it is scripted. Mm. You cannot change it. You cannot add on mm. Jesus himself says, the Father sent me to preach the good news. Look, 418. How can you change that? How can you change that? How? Pastor, can I tell you something? Yes, Pastor. There is a scripture. That, I love that scripture because I love walking in the healing power of God. In the book of John, chapter number 3, Verse number three to verse five. Now, I, I love to okay, let's let's pick the faith verse. The faith verse. The faith verse. Jesus. No, uh, Jesus answered truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Now, listen, and listen well. Being born of the spirit is not being is it's not a product. It, listen, it's not a product of another kingdom. It's a product of what is written in verse 3. Alright? The kingdom of God. Verse number three. Be, be, being, being born of the spirit is, is a product or production from the kingdom of God. Yeah. And the kingdom of God has to do with the supernatural, verse 3, has to do with the supernatural. Jesus answered him, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born, he, again, he cannot enter, he cannot see, he cannot taste the kingdom of God. Pastor, what does it mean to be born of the kingdom of God? Now, let's go to what the, the apostles did. It, let's take the first, the first, the first uh, miracle. It, it was salvation in Acts chapter 2. Let's take that happened. So you can trace the first miracle. 
Let's go. The first miracle, Acts chapter 2, verse number 37. They, they were caught to the heart, mm. and they asked Peter, what shall we do then, brother? Mm. Now, when they, they heard <laughs> this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, brothers, what shall we do? Verse number 38. 38. See what Peter answered them. And to. Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus How? Christ. How? In the name of Jesus How? Christ. In the name of Jesus How? Christ. How, Pastor, tell me. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. You will be born of the Spirit. Yeah. You, you, you will now emanate from the kingdom of God. You become a citizen of God. Now, hold on. He says, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you know what that means? Be baptized with God's word. Be baptized in the name. Be baptized in the word. Be baptized with the word. Mm. Let the word be. Let, 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 let the word be put inside mm. you. Be, be clothed with the word. Mm. Be purified with the word. Not with faith. The gospel we preach. The gospel says. So the first word on the lip of every man sent by God is salvation. Without salvation, there is no church. <laughs> In the absence of the church, you can't preach marriage. <laughs> you can't preach salvation. You can't, you can't preach marriage. You can't preach prosperity. You can't preach success. Are you hearing this? That's the beauty of what God did. And in Acts chapter 3, Peter said, such as I have my possession, my inheritance, I give in the name of Jesus. Leverage on the word. Hallelujah. You, you know, what was the word grabs him for, right? What's the word, the, the whole word, what's, what's the whole word grabs him for now? Life. Life. The word means healing. Yeah. Grabs him for life. All right? Yes, sir. How would a man be healed? I sent my word and I heal all disease. I am the Lord, your healer. He says, if you want healing, I sent my word and I heal all disease. I sent my word, my word, the word of God heals. Praise God. Hallelujah. We can please God by having faith in what he has said. Our faith, the faith of a man is in the word. I hear this. Your faith, your faith cannot be in any other thing. Our faith is in the word. And the word causes us to believe that God exists. So our faith causes us to believe the entirety of what is written. Too important. Mm -hmm. Faith is not to be preached. It is to be received by the preaching of the gospel. Sayeth the word of God. Mm -hmm. Romans 10, verse number 17. Love you all. Glory to mm -hmm. God. Glory to God. The, the phone lines are activated now. Whatever question you might want to ask tonight, we want to hear from you. Go ahead and call in now. Share with us also your messages via SMS or WhatsApp on the numbers displayed right there on your screen. Uh, Pastor, what is the gospel there? When I, when I go to church, what is the gospel? What is the good news? What is the gospel? The gospel is the life of Christ before we saw him when we saw him when he left us listen Genesis chapter 1 is not talking about any other being apart from Christ Genesis chapter 1 talks about the sun the moon the stars the waters the seas what's he talking about he's talking about nothing was made that was made without Christ. 
everything that moves, that doesn't move, that can be thought of, that has not been thought of, that has been seen, that has not been seen, that has been heard, that has not been heard, is Christ. There is not a single verse of God's word that you will read without seeing Christ in there. The shortest verse is in Christ's word. Yeah. Even there, he is there. Give me any verse, and you and I will look into that verse. We'll see Christ. Because if you don't see what he has made, you will see what he will make. Mm. Amen. Amen. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you take the call off and give us good calls in here? Uh, we, we, yes, we want to. We we'll want to hear very well. Very please, clearly, kindly, please, kindly, please, kindly. when you call, kindly turn down the volume of your TV set that we can hear you clearly. Glory to God. Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Your name, where you are calling from, please? Uh, my name is um, Tanya. I'm calling from Sierra Leone. From Sierra Leone. Let's hear you. So, so I'm gonna ask a message to be to be played after okay. this. I don't know how I titled that message, but that declares that Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. Um, so we conference. Yeah, I, I put a, co yeah. a couple of it. But sister, that's a good question. That's a powerful question. Mm. You can understand it. John ten thirty. <laughs> I and my Father are one. You, you worship Jesus, you are worshiping the one who sent him. You worship the one who sent Jesus, you are worshiping Jesus. Amazing. I and my father are one. Now, listen, sister, and you are no longer going to be confused after what you are about to hear. That confusion will be set off your mind if you can clearly follow this simple truth. Mm -hmm. Now, and I'm going to take the scripture step by step. Yeah. Now, Jesus himself proclaimed to us in the book of John, chapter number 14, verse number 6. He says, I am. Now, I want you to hear that Jesus did not say, I will be. He says, I am the way, the truth. Can you take the tag of the truth and the life? I am the way. Take the core tag as well. I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I'm repeating. I am the way. So he says, I am the way to the Father, the truth about the Father, the life of the Father. No one comes to the Father except through me. Verse number seven. Follow kindly, sister. Verse number seven. If you had, if you had known me, you have also known my father also. From now on, you do know him, the father, and have seen him, the father, because I am the father standing right in front of you. Verse number eight. You have known him and you have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the father, and it is enough for us. Verse number nine. Philip is still asking for the father. Jesus said to Philip, have I been with you so long and you still do not know me? Faith, whosoever has seen me has seen the Father. Hallelujah. How can you say, show us the Father? Worship Jesus, you are worshiping the Father. Worship the Father, you are worshiping Jesus. Because in that day, you will know that I am in the Father. And the Father in me and you in me. John chapter number 14, verse number 20, saith the word of God. He says, in that day, if I can have it on screen, John 14, verse 20, in that day, 
you will know that I, Christ, I am in the Father, and the Father, and you in me, and I in you. So remember that Jesus is the Father, and the Father is Jesus. There is no differentiation. Why? God, sister, hear very well. God is trapatite. God is not, uh, I, 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 I wonder where they pick this word for Trinity. Mm. The right word is tripartite. God is three persons in one. All right? Sister, so you say, so if he's three persons in one, then there is Jesus, there is, there is the Father, there is the Word, Jesus, and the Spirit of God. Yes. Now I'm talking to you. What was the name? I mentioned the name from Sierra Leone. Okay, so let me just take that. You are your name is uh, 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 Alberta. Alberta. Yeah, let me take it that way. If you are Alberta, what's happening is you have a body. That's your body. You have a soul. You know it. You have a spirit. So Alberta, you are trapatite. You are three people in one body. All right. That's how God is. He says, let us make man. So if you understand your constitution, the constitution of your being, you understand the constitution of the being of Christ. You understand the constitution of the Father. You understand the constitution of the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm going to explain this to you with two more scriptures, and you understand. In the book of Genesis, chapter number 1, verse number 26, the word says, let us make man, Elohim said, let us make man. Let us make man. In our image, after our likeness. So you came out at him. Now, simply look at, look at, look at this verse. Genesis 2, 7. And God formed man out of the dust. So that's your container. The dust was just dust, clay lifeless and god breathed into his nostril and man became a living creature give this to me in kjv kjv says man became a living soul so the breath of god and man became a living soul so the breath of god that came into the clay the breath of god that came into the clay gave life <coughs> to man so the clay received the soul <coughs> Of man, the clay that was lying down, that the porter God made, received the soul of a man. How many people are you seeing? You are seeing two in one personality. Where lies your spirit? Where lies your spirit? Let me excite you. Amazingly, our spirit was clinged to our soul. The breath of God that came into us was the spirit of God, was the man's spirit, was the soul of a man coming into one personality. Amazing. That's what brings, brought the presence to us. It clothed us. So we're naked, we didn't know. Now, let's go to God. We are done with man. Let's go to God. Who is God? God is the creator of the universe. He comes in three personalities. If you want to understand that in the new covenant, the best scripture to pick is Second Corinthians chapter number thirteen, verse number fourteen. That's the last verse of Second Corinthians, chapter number thirteen, verse number fourteen. It says, "The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now." and forevermore. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the word, the love of God, the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. So the three are mentioned. Now, take a moment and know whom the Holy Spirit is, know whom Jesus Christ is. Second Corinthians chapter number three Verse 
number 17. He says, and now the Lord is the spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So if you are talking about God, he is the Holy Ghost. All right? John 4, 24. Go with me. John 4, 24. I'm answering this for so many people. God is spirit. That's all I want. God is spirit. And those who want to wish worship him can only worship him in spirit and in truth. The truth is Jesus. The spirit is the Holy Ghost. Come home. God is a spirit. You can only worship him in the Holy Spirit and in Jesus. So when you are worshiping Jesus, you are worshiping God. Now, God is spirit. Amazing. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And now the Lord is the spirit. And now God is the Holy Ghost. Did you hear that? And now God is the Holy Ghost. 2 Corinthians 3, verse number 17. Now, again, look at the book of Hebrews, chapter number 1, verse number 13. This is a whole message that I'm trying to compress for you. It says, verse number 3, sorry, uh, uh, Hebrews 1, verse number 3. It tells us that Jesus Christ is the direct imprint of the Father. Amazing. I want to read this in KJV. I love the KJV of this. He says, KJV says, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. So Jesus came here to show us how God is. Jesus is God. Jesus is. Man has a body, man has a soul, man has a spirit. God has a presence, he has a spirit, he has a word. And all that we know about God is his word. So what is the word of God? God. God bless you and keep you. Pastor, let's go. Thank you so much, Pastor. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Good evening, say anywhere you're calling from, please. My name is Dr. you said. You want to know, hold on, you want to know the short meaning of the word. Is the word? The gospel. The gospel is the word. Mm. Is the word. There's no other short meaning. Mm. It has no meaning. It's the word. Who is the word of God? God. Who is God? The word. Mm. It's stated clearly in, in John 1, 1. The book of John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. It's not an abbreviation. No abbreviation. Mm. So there's no short meaning. Mm. You want God, the word. You want the word, God. Mm. Amen. Amen. I, I believe you got that. Maybe you want the, the mm. Greek uh, uh, logos. Okay, sir. Maybe. Okay, sir. Maybe. And he was asking, how does he step out to preach it? Preach what you have known about him. Preaching is witnessing. Mm. Now, if, if somebody gives him the opportunity to talk about Calvin, he'll say, I saw him preaching a moment ago. Okay. This is what he preached. Now, you to go and tell people what you know about Jesus. Okay. He said, and ye shall receive the Holy Spirit. Mm. What did he say? He said, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. As yeah. one it says, and you shall witness me. Jesus says, you shall witness me. Go and tell the world about, he said, and you will be my witnesses mm. in Ju Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So now, go and tell people what you, what did Philip say? Come and see, oh, come, come and see. see. Come and see what the Lord has done. Go and tell people what you know about him. Mm. That is the preaching. That's the preaching. That's how I started. Mm. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Does the, does the gospel have a place for our marriage? Does the gospel have a place oh, yes. for our finance? Oh, yes. Our rent? Yes. Uh, the gospel has a place for our rent. All right, so t t talk about them one after the other. Okay. I'm going to, you said marriage. Marriage. First Corinthians chapter number seven talks, the, the whole chapter talks about marriage. 
Ephesians 5 begins with marriage. Mm. First Corinthians chapter number 11 talks about marriage, talks about intimacy with God. Mm. And that's, there's a complication people do not understand because that's a very, a very high-tuned chapter. Mm. All right? Yes. You spoke about riches. Yes, Pastor Riches. No, no. Read for me. Read for me. Uh, read for me the book of Philippians, chapter number 4. My God is able to supply all things according to the riches of his glory. Mm. All right? He says yes, he's able to supply all things according to the riches of his glory. He's, he's talking about wealth. Mm. All right? Now, I'm going to give you a description that excites me about the wealth of, of the new creation. Uh, that's 3 John verse 2, because it's one chapter. Mm. 3 John verse 2, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, even as thou, thy soul also prospers. Mm. So, he says, Beloved, I pray that all may be, go well with you, and you may be good in health as it goes well with your soul. Can I see this in, in KJV? Pastor, read on. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospering. So he, he, he talks about you prospering. Your, the prosperity of your soul is spiritual. So, but the first part, he talks about physical prosperity, physical wealth. Oh yes, the gospel does. It does. That's why we have to preach the gospel. Don't preach just this part mm. and say that's the gospel. That's not the gospel. I so said, what makes it very exciting is, you know, uh, in the book of Matthew 6 33, it even tells you when you seek, you seek him first, the kingdom mm. and its righteousness and all other things, mm. and the, all the things you mentioned mm. <laughs> will follow you when you seek the kingdom and its righteousness. So the first thing that can, the gospel introduced is the kingdom. What did Jesus say? Matthew 4, verse number 17. He said, repent. That's the, the, his first message. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Okay. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We're still picking your calls. Let, let's hear from you. Hello, good evening. Good evening. You know where you're calling from, please. Kuma, so let's hear you. teaching um, for another time. Glory to God. I'm anointed to preach the gospel. I love the word, and I love you, James Odey from Kumasi says that one. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, uh, you want to pick a call? Yes, call Let me answer the first okay, the caller you just said. It's, it's simple. It doesn't need... Read Acts chapter 10. Peter went to... Jesus sent Peter to the house of Cornelius to preach the gospel to them. They received the Holy Ghost before they were baptized with water. Mm. Now, in the house of Cornelius, there was no river. Mm -hmm. But Peter baptized them with water. How did he do it? He sprinkled. <coughs> so whether water is sprinkled on you or you are immersed into water. In, 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 us, in, in Matthew chapter 3, Jesus was immersed by John in the river Jordan. So anyone that you get, whether by mention or sprinkle, both are in scriptures. Amen. Amen. That's how simple. Thank you, sir. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay. Um, you hung up. Glory to God. Um, Pastor said, when Jesus came on earth, where was God? Um, because there was ah, I love that and message. the Father and the Father. It's, it's in me. me. Well, All right. God. So uh, uh, we, we, we can make a date on that on Saturday. I've preached that consistently. Yes, it's simple. When Jesus was on earth, the throne was on earth. The Father, the Spirit, the Son was here. Now, let me give you a simple uh, explanation to that. And uh, if I get the opportunity, I, I put in scriptures uh, day by day, and you understand. Listen. When Jesus was from the year 1 to 30, heaven was still functioning because the Holy Ghost was still in heaven. The Father was seated. 
Are you hearing me? Yes, Pastor. Are you hearing me? Yes, Pastor. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, the Holy Ghost came bodily, completely on him and seated on him. Heaven became empty three and a half years. That's the main reason why the Antichrist was to reign for three and a half years, for the two months. Three and a half years, heaven was on earth. Listen carefully. So the major, the major question everybody asks is, what about the Mount of Transfiguration? When Jesus was with the three disciples, heavens opened, and a loud voice screamed and said, this is my son. Believe in him, because it is he who pleases my eye. I want to tell you how it happened. You study that scripture, you realize that Jesus transfigured. He transfigured. And when he transfigured, the sound now came. The voice came. Jesus transfigured to who? He visited heaven. He transfigured into his original form. The Father. And he spoke. After he spoke. And when the clouds left, no voice came again. And all the days he walked on earth, no instruction came from heaven. No prophet rose. And watch this. When he breathed on the apostles and sent them out, he followed. He didn't function. Because he has given a part of him out. He didn't function until they returned to him. Amazing. We'll find time and teach that. We've been teaching that since 2013. When Jesus was on earth, the throne was on earth. Heaven has ceased to function because heaven was on earth. Heaven began to function again when Jesus said, Father, into your hands I yield my spirit. The spirit of God left him and took the throne. And when the spirit of God took the throne, Jesus now changed his ideology, his concepts, his speech, and said, my God, my God. He always said, my father, my father, my father. When the Holy Ghost took the seat, when Jesus said, into your hands, I yield my spirit. He now said, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? Blessed are thou. Bless uh, thou, Pastor. Also, we, we welcome you. Uh, Pastor, I want to ask, are there speciality areas of the gospel? Speciality areas. Like you specialize? Uh, in, in a part of the gospel. Ah, uh, I can't say no. And I wouldn't want to say yes. Because what I know is the gospel. Mm. But there are assignments. And I don't want to call that specialities. Mm. There are assignments, and I'll give you a very <coughs> tangible experience. Mm. Philip, Christ gave him a specific assignment beginning from the, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the Samaritan. And from there, he went on, on to a city. I think that was Antioch yes, to proclaim the gospel. It was a special assignment. Paul was given a special assignment proclaim it to the Gentiles. But what were they giving? Proclaim the gospel to this class of people. Mm. To Paul, he says, the Gentiles. He didn't say, go and preach marriage to them or fishing because go and, go and teach them how to make tent because you're a tent maker. Mm. He said, preach the gospel. Send the gospel to them. Preach the gospel. So there can be several mm. assignments, but the message is one. Is one. Jesus is the message. Amazing. Nothing more. This is the teaching of the gospel in its apogee. Wow. What's the meaning of apogee? I'm hearing the word for the first time. Apogee. A P O G E E. Apogee. Amazing. I would love to learn. Thank you very much, Paul Kojomon, since this one. 
glory to God. Um, Pastor, your teachings are so deep and powerful. Surely you break down things to our level. God bless you. This one is coming from Emmanuel from Koforidia. Glory to God. Um, you also can call in now. You also can send your messages. And so we'll... The highest point in the development <coughs> of something, a climax of culmination. Another one. Amazing. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We learn every day. We learn. Thank you so much, Paul, for, for, for that teaching. Apogee. Apogee. Glory to God. Glory to God. Powerful word. I'm on Facebook. Blessed are you, Pastor, from Balima Rita Saints. That one also. Glory to God. It's, it's, it's been an amazing night, and I know you are following, you are taking your notes, and this is a blessed word for all of us okay this is a blessed word for all of us as many of you who are still watching and want to share any comments or call into the studios you can also do same by calling the numbers on your screen or whatsapping us we will read your messages and also give you any answer that you want to hear in four minutes we tend to we tend to healing school mm. what are the results people receive from from these ministers who who are preaching now, not the gospel. Uh, well, if you are not preaching the gospel, you are preaching for another spirit. And the spirit will grant results. Another That's spirit. the truth. Yeah. But what, what, what's written in Ephesians 2, verse 2? No, you, you know, you understand Ephesians chapter 2 when you understand the first and the second verse. The first and the second verse talks about the rule of demons. Then the sixth verse talk about, talks about we seated with Christ. Mm. You are in either one of these. Every message you, coming to you is coming from one of these kingdoms. Either the kingdom of God or the kingdom of darkness. There is no, there's no intermediary mm. between the two. Amazing. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening. Your name where I'm going from, please. <laughs> Let's hear you. I have to like to change my face. You know that now, after I've made the answer to that, we can only get uh, to include the word. It's the word. It's the word. It's the word. I want to change my face. I want to remember all of that. You've answered me, so hold on there. Are you there? Are you there? Okay, I'm putting a scripture on screen. You read it for me. He's answered the question okay. by his own. Same scripture as we read, we read uh, Romans 10, verse number 17. Mm. He's answered the, the, the question. <laughs> Romans 10, verse number 17. Please read for me. Romans 10. Verse 17. It's on screen. So faith will come when you hear the word. If you want more, what do you do? Yeah. More word. Hear more <laughs> word. That it, it's you know some of the things are practical and practically simple. Listen, mm. Pastor, you, for every four hours that you work, mm. you'll be paid ten thousand dollars. If you want twenty thousand dollars a day, what do you do? You, do you work for day. eight hours. Mm. If you want thirty thousand dollars, you do what? You work for twelve hours. If you want forty thousand dollars, for sixteen hours. Uh, Fifty thousand dollars over time. Hours. If you want to kill yourself, over time. Sixty thousand dollars, twenty-four hours a yeah. day. Faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. You want more faith? Hear more. Hear more. Simple. Glory to God. Um, glory to God. Um, this red time will allow it for this session of teaching. You have some comments you want to read? Um, Pastor, this one is from... Um, he says, I want to know how you know you had a gift of healing. Um, All right. And that's a powerful question. And that, that, that's a powerful question. How did I know I have the, 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 the healing function? All right. So... Um, can I can I ask you a question? Yes, Pastor. Oh no, let me go to Pastor Steve. <laughs> you look too handsome for me tonight. Maybe I might not ask you, right? Pastor, can I ask you a question? You can ask me, sir. How do, do you know 
when you are eating, how do you know that you've got into your limit? I say, you, you know yourself. You because know when, it, when, it, when you get to that peak at, uh, where you are supposed to stop, you know. Because you are eating sure, the food. Yes. Because you are eating the yes. food. Yes. Because you are Your eating. system is controlling it. So All when right. it gets to that peak, you should know. From childhood, mm. when we get sick and we have headache, and uh, you will help me because you are a medical officer. You, when we get, we, we have headache. Mm. How would we know Should our headache is gone if we have to depend on medicine? Mm. You give me para. Yes, Pastor. What do I need to do? You take it with water. I take it with water yes. and drink. Yes, Pastor. And take it, swallow it. Yes, Pastor. Then after a while. I will see that the headache it's is no more yeah. there. How would you know if you have the healing unction? Jesus has said it. That when you believe, you will lay your hands on the sick. Mark chapter number 16, verse number 15. You will lay your hand on the sick and they shall recover. Don't wait for anything. Mm. If you know you have believed, if you know you have received the Holy Ghost, come on, come in here. If you know you have believed, if you know you have received the Holy Spirit, go and lay your hand on the sick. Wow. Yeah. Until one recovers, you will know. No. And I'm going to tell you amazingly, I'm telling you why. I'm telling you why. Listen, in Acts chapter 2, all right? In Acts chapter 2, Peter received the Holy Spirit with the 119 in the upper room. They were 120 together. So Peter plus 119, they all received the Holy Ghost. In Acts chapter 3, he did not ask Jesus, can I pray for the sick? Mm. Because Jesus had said to him, in Luke 24, verse number 49, in Acts chapter 1, verse number 8, that he shall receive power. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Now Peter knew exactly. And Peter proclaimed this words. In, in Acts 10, 38, Peter proclaimed this word. He said, how God, Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. What did he do? He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. So Peter knew that when God had anointed a man. He has the power to proclaim the gospel. He has the power to pray for the sick. And Jesus said, when the Holy Ghost comes, you receive that power. Yeah. Peter knew that he had received it. He did not ask Christ any further question. <laughs> he said, such as I have, I, I give. give. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise, rise up. up and walk. And the man rose and walked. Go and pray for the sick today. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Amen. We have a colonel line. Go ahead, Pastor. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Your name is where you're coming from, sir. Uh, Pastor, thank you. Pastor, thank you. Pastor, yeah, I'm back. Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Joy, let's hear you. Yeah. Pastor, I can't wait to see you. I'm complete. Maybe I'll go. I want to be a friend. Uh, 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 so, some of the time, I'm using uh, the to cut the uh, and work it so on so on. And I think you know that I don't think it's a way that the entire day is used to cut or something like that. So, I want to be a friend. All right, so this, 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 it's simple. You've answered the question okay. on your own because Jesus said the same book of Mark, chapter number 16, I would draw on the 17th verse. Mm. He says, in, in, in my name, as many who believe in my name, they shall cast out demons. Yeah. Simple. I love casting demons. I lo Pastor, I love it. That's why I love home. Yeah. That's why when you go, you get multiples of demons to, mm. to, to play with, you know. Mm. As well as I go, you know. Cast. Yes. Come out, check out, come out, check out, come out, check out, check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. Then they are checking out. Exciting. Exciting. That's what I know. Mm. Jesus said, in my name, they shall cast a demon. So I do I I I can't I, I can't take handkerchief to cast a demon. I can't take oil to cast a demon. I can't in the name of <laughs> Jesus. 
Shake the devil up. Shake the devil up. <laughs> First I say it one more time. He said, in the name of Jesus, shake the, the devil, devil up. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Hello, my Mecca is watching all the way from Togo. Says, thank you for your message. The Bible says God is love. I want to know why God decided <coughs> to love only the Israelites and chose them as his people in the Old Testament. No, no, no. God, God did not decide to love them. Uh, that's a powerful question. Mm. Uh, why, so why did Jesus only focus on the Jew? That's what he wants to say. <laughs> yeah. Because they were the only chosen vessels of his at that time. All other nations mm. were worshipping idols. It was only Israel. He had, he had a covenant with them at that time. Mm. And Jesus said, for me to have a covenant with the world, I have to go on the cross. Mm. Where I can multiply. Mm. So when he went on the cross, he left those who were with him. Listen, Pastor, can I, can I, can I, can I split it? Those who were with him, they, they 11 left. Mm. They were 12, so um, Judas is gone. He's left with 11. He said, you, you were with me. Continue what I did. Focus on Israel. So when he sent Paul, when, when, when he was, was sending Paul to Cornelius, Paul resisted. Said they are of the uncommon. In sending Peter, sorry, to Cornelius. Peter resisted. He said, they are of the uncommon. I've got nothing to do with them. And God said, how do you call what I have created uncommon? Because now he has opened the fray. But when he called Paul, he said, go to the ones I didn't go to. Because Paul did not go with him to the ones he went to. Mm. Then the gospel opened. So he chose Israel as a pivot to reach all of us. Not that, not that God loved Israel. Now hear this. For God so loved the world. John 3, 16. He did not say, for God so loved Israel. For God so loved the world. Amen. 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 <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. This, this is the time I love for this session. Tomorrow something glorious is happening right here. It's the 65th edition of the Special Healing School happening online right here on your televisions with a man called Pastor Kelvin. Pastor? Before, before we move to that segment, mm. I will want you to grab your momo, get me this station, just get me this station, grab your momo and send as much as the Lord will lay on your hand. Let's sustain the channel. It's too important an agenda, the, the, the channel must be sustained. That's the only way I get to reach you in multiple nations. Yeah. Either than that, I'll be in one, at one place attending to just a group of people. But with the station, I'm reaching you all the way where you are. I'm reaching you all the way that, where you are. If you are not in Ghana, take the blue line. If you are in Ghana, take the yellow line. Yeah. Amen. The blue line, you just go online. www.jesusaveonline.org There's a giving button on the right top corner. And you, you key in your credit card and you give straight to, to, to this channel. And if you are in Ghana, you just, you just go straight on the MTM Momo and send to us. Please, do so. Do so now. As we talk about healing school, do so now. Remember, tomorrow, we are sitting in here ministering to 100 people. How many people are registered now? 92. We've cut off registration. So, mm. uh, are you still getting registration coming in? No, sir. We've no, cut off registration. 92 people. We are going to sit right here in the studios and minister healing to them for free. For free. We, it will amaze you to hear we have a COVID 19 case. And we are ministering to that person tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes, we are ministering to that person tomorrow, and surely there's gonna be healing. Amen. Exciting. No, I, I loved. I I, I I enjoyed it when I I, I heard that it has, uh, the person's sample has been taken already for for testing, and they, they are testing whether that test comes up positive or negative tomorrow. The, the whole system of that human being will become negative Hallelujah. to that virus. Amen. How do we do this until we're able to reach you? In your masses, just just grab your momo and 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 send to this channel. Nobody has sent yet, but I know most of you are typing. Grab your momo and send to this channel, and let's sustain the channel that we. Look at what you've heard tonight. Mm. 
answered one question, and by the time I was now, I'm, I'm going to make sure we cut that. Yes. It becomes a short tape playing on this. Yes. Uh, that was, he, he was, she was asking, why is Jesus yes. gone? Yeah. Why are people worshiping Jesus? And, <laughs> and, you know, these are exciting times that we know more about the gospel. And if you see how people are trolling in from nations day by day, it's because of what they hear. Such an amazement being done by God on our very land. Your one city is important, your 10 city, your 50, your 100, your 200, your 1,000. And I knew I could see you sent 1,000 Ghana cities yesterday. And you are just a blessing to this ministry. And I, I know how much the Lord is going to shock you and shock you one more time. Amen. So it, it, nothing is less, nothing is more. Just go ahead and, and give. So now, Pastor, you can talk about healing school. Oh, well, it's happening tomorrow right here. And as many who have registered, um, you have received One person patiently did that. Mm. Mercy body sent us 10 Ghana cities. Wow. 10 Ghana cities. We are blessed by this giving, and I know the Lord will make you so higher and higher. Pastor. Amen. So thank you, Aunt Mercy. So tomorrow, exactly at 4 p.m. 3.30. 3.30. 3.30. They are going to do 30 minutes orientation okay, before uh, at 4 o'clock a faith clinic begins. Okay, so have three pastors or two pastors doing 30 minutes orientation. Okay, sir. Bef before, before the program begins in NS. So 3.30 exactly if you have received that confirmation to be part of the special healing school happening online make sure you are seated by your television even if you could not get the opportunity to register make sure you're also part of the pastor has taught us extensively on faith that faith ought to be received ought to be received from the word from the word from and the that's word. what we are going to do and that's tomorrow. what we are going to and do and that's the entire healing school yes pastor. so I, I i've sent a voice pop to them uh t telling them if you miss the faith clinic yes pastor. you will sit at the point that I enter, and people will be healed, and you will still be the same. Yes, Master. Our healing school is all about the faith clinic. I sent my word, and I heal all diseases. Yeah. It is too important for us. If you are, if you do not partake in the in the faith clinic, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so very very important. Pastor has been reechoing this to us that all of the healing school is about the faith clinic. So. Make sure you don't miss out of the fifth clinic session of the special healing school. And we have received your names, we have received your number that we can reach you on, received your location. All you need to do is to just simply relax, relax. We are going to be calling the 92 people one after the other. What, Amazing. what, 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 Amazing. A, what an investment! Pastor, but that's, that's what we are going to do, yeah. That's what we are called to do, and yeah. we love doing it. Yeah. We have foreign it. lines from the in the U.S. We we'll call. have seen a U.S. line. We we'll call. I, I wish one of the things I wish because I know in our nation things do not open up. I wish I had somebody in Italy, mm. in Spain, in United States connecting us to COVID nineteen patients yeah. live on their hospital beds. Mm. Just just have their phones and watch on 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 Facebook, Facebook. or. On a on a yeah, online uh, TV, uh, pastor. Yes, pastor. That, that that that's that's my prayer and my dream. Mm. And the world will hear an amazement yes, that the name of Jesus is all that the world needs. Yes, there will there, there will be healing moving from the left <laughs> to the right, Man. and and people will be testifying back and forth. I'm just waiting for that opening. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So so tomorrow, as many of you have registered, 92 people. We are going to be calling you one, one by one. Other. And if you if you are watching us right now and you know anybody infirm with COVID nineteen coronavirus, make sure you make sure that person is watching tomorrow yeah. live live on the only <coughs> the only patients who are allowed to register now to to three thirty tomorrow or even four p.m. tomorrow. It's COVID-19. It's COVID-19. Because that's an emergency. Yes, Pastor. It's COVID-19. <laughs> if you know anybody who is infected, I think we have two cases. Uh, yes. One that uh, came earlier, 
Uh, I don't think that person was re is registered, registered yeah, but no. make sure if she is uh, uh, a nurse also registered. And then one that just came in yesterday. Mm -hmm. We need more yeah. than the world we hear. Imagine, imagine we are sitting here in Ghana and God is healing people of COVID-19 in Spain, Italy, in Italy, France, in France, Germany. in the US, yeah. in Germany. Connect them. You just connect them to this channel. That's all you have to yeah. do. Connect them and tell them one thing that as, as Mary, the mother of Jesus, said in John chapter 2, he said, Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Just connect them. Tell them, Hey, brother, your, what they are telling you have, has no value. COVID 19, coronavirus has no value. I'm connecting you to a channel. Tomorrow there will be a live program. Just, just connect to it. And whatever they tell you to do, do it. do it. And you are free. You are healed. Amen. As simple as that. We are going to tell you to do everyone want to believe in Jesus. Sure. Confess that Jesus is Lord. And believe in his heart. Amen. That indeed he is Lord. And once you believe. Mm. Oh, yeah, me, young, go, no, God. Mommy. Hey, mommy. Oh, this I go. Hey, Mm -hmm. that he never changed. Jesus never changed. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So that, that's how it's going to be tomorrow. <laughs> exactly from 3.30. All the 92 people are going to receive this call. This call. Make sure you will be by your phones. Make sure you be by your phones because once we call you and you miss out, we move to the next person. We move to the next person. We believe you've all given us the accurate numbers that we can reach you on. If you also could not get the opportunity to, to register, hey, I, I remember the last special in school, people were getting healed, though they were not even ministered. Though they were not ministered yes. to. Yes. As, as long as you are sit, <laughs> seated by the TV, mm. if you are ministering to somebody, just connect. Just connect. Just connect. Glory to God. So, for now, we open only registration to people who have COVID-19 COVID mm. If you yeah. can build this at, as a tag and put it on TV, yes, uh, 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 if you have COVID-19, call this number. Uh, this number. Okay. Until tomorrow, 4 p.m. Yes, please. We are sir. fine. Yes, please, sir. So that is it. That is it. The name of Jesus will be introduced. And tomorrow, there is going to be an avalanche of mm. miracles in your homes. Yes, no boundary in the realm of the spirit, and definitely the word, the word, the word will be spoken, and faith will be drawn from the word, and miracles will abound. Will abound, amazing, amazing, will abound in greater faults. <coughs> will amazing. abound in greater faults. Make force. sure you are connected on time. That's mm. so important. Three thirty, you are seated. You are seated. Mm. You are seated. Yes, Pastor. That is why also Pastor is placing that clarion call on all of us to, to keep this channel for him, to keep this channel for him. Yes, you are making it possible for someone to receive healing by sending your momo. Yes, pick up your momo and send it right now. Send it right now. What the Lord lays on your heart. The Pastor, days. eight people have been gracious to Definitely. us tonight. Yes, eight people <coughs> have been gracious mm. to us. Tonight, uh, we had uh, Sarah Strava, this lady, mm. 50 Ghana cities, uh, Florence Mate, 10 Ghana cities, Prince Alfred, 10 Ghana cities, Olivia Owari Akoto, 5 Ghana cities, and Lucinda Owusu, 50 Ghana cities, Lydia Amankwa, 10 Ghana cities, and David Otto, again, mm. 5 Ghana cities. And this one just came in. Rosemont Naba, 10 Ghana cities. So nine people well, have been gracious to us tonight. Glory to God. And these nine people are sustaining this channel, giving uh, man of God, Pastor Kevin, that platform to share the word of God with you. Hear the words. Hear the words you hear tonight. And look at the opportunity you are giving to 92 people and millions across the world to receive the blessed word and receive healing for their infirmities. You are making uh, this possible. Money also came in with 33 Ghana Hallelujah. Cities. Glory to God. You are making it possible. So pick up your momo, what the Lord lays on. It could be one city. It could be 10 city. It could be 100 city. 
200 city, 300 city, 500 city, 1,000 Ghana city, that we sustain this channel. Yes, if this channel is not there, you cannot hear these precious words. Those who have registered could not get the opportunity to register. If you also you are watching from outside of Ghana, you are still not left out of this. Just go to www.jesussavesonline.org. There's a giving button. Click it, and the pleasant opportunity will also be given to you to give from every nation that you are watching us from. If you are in Ghana, pick up your momo, send it right now. Let's keep the channel on. That Pastor Kelvin will get a medium to reach us with the word of God and bring Jesus to our homes. Let's do it right about now. Pick it up and let's get on doing it. Sir. Pick it up. Let's get on. Let's get it done. We love you with the love of the Lord. Mm. And surely tomorrow right about around this time would have been way deep. Yeah. And probably getting more than 50% mm. done mm. would have been way deep or probably done according to how the Lord will lead and guide us. And we thank you. Those of you who gave tonight, may the Lord lift you onto a higher crescendo Amen. in your finances. May he supply you strictly according to the riches of his glory in Jesus' name. We love you for this kind gesture and giving that this channel may be sustained. God bless you. We love you. See you at the healing school. See you at the healing school. God bless. Five, four, four, seven, eight. The number plus two three three five five four four seven eight two two on